Hello everyone and welcome to the Gunning Glade. Welcome to a new week that I hope is shining brightly for you. I'm feeling pretty good today. Maybe it's the coffee, uh, maybe it's the sunshine, maybe it's both, maybe it's all. And I uh, actually, it's going to be hopefully even better because I'm going to be a crack a in some mons. I was at Dolly's Cards and I flipped some bulk and I got the Blastoise VMAX box and I also got this absolutely stunning uh, binder. It's by Dragon Hide. I thought it was by Legion, but this is the Dragon Hide, as they call it. They're really hard, very rare. Uh, and what am I going to do with it? Well, to be honest with you, I'm like not too keen on like these mo monster protectors. So this is my best of, uh, I guess, like I, I made this binder um, like five, six years ago. More like four, actually. Like, it's been an ongoing process, but these are just some of my favorite cards that maybe were doubles or weren't, uh, you know, and I just didn't want to put them in, a, in like, a shoebox or something. I, the last card I need to fill in here is the Tyranitar EX Full Art from Ancient Origins. I don't have a double of that, but I just wanted to make a binder of just some of my favorite cards, and unfortunately, like, towards the end, yeah, this is pretty crazy, uh, but towards the end, like... I mean, like, the, there's a bit of a, the, I just, I double sleeve things, and then, not even double sleeve, but even just single sleeves, and then it just gets too thick, and I, I like, store them uh, side by side, or on top of stuff, I just don't really want to have the need to do that, like, the other binders, which are pretty good, it's like this four pocket zip folio ultimate guard, this is great, this is Dark Explorers, uh, there's no, it, it doesn't fill up as much, Right, there's the, the, it's because the, I guess the backing here is thicker, and it prevents any silliness. So, enough of the jibber-jabber. I got some mail from Shiny Girl Hobbies. Ooh, gotta get a knife. And I got it. So, Shiny Girl Hobbies is one of my favorite and closest friends in the world of IG for Pokemon and all assortments of things. So, definitely check her out. Just want to be careful with this, not like last time uh, <laughs> with Poker Bros picks, but I definitely kept that wonderful little note with me. So, what do we have? Hi! I tried to pick out my favorite cards to send to you, so if you don't like them, just know <laughs> you have bad taste. Hopefully you enjoy them though, because I gained many pounds during this promotion yeah tell me about it i'm feeling pretty thick too but that was just from winter anyways thanks for getting me back into pokemon cards so glad to have met you hugs from oregon like porygon like that's that's what i say ariane oh i love it what do we have here we have stickers oh this is oh look at the sticker of the pikachu that's a sticker right yeah it is a sticker and a great ball and all the starter friends hey i love all of that and we have a pack. So what do we have? Four additional game cards. This is, I guess, a, a McDon or the McDonald's promo that we haven't had yet here in Canada. But, whoa, there's a few things in here. So we have Cyndaquil. We have an Oshawott Snivy. Squirtle. Love that. Chimchar, and that's a hollow. Hey, that's so cool. We have Totodile. Tepig. Oh my gosh, I might have to just try to collect this whole set. <laughs> Chespin. Oh, Chikorita. Oh. oh. Shiny Girl Hobbies is the best. I love this Chikorita. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. She doesn't get enough love, but I think it's so sweet. So this is wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm going to leave you right over here. Um, and uh, which, which other? I have a Chimchar. And I like that Squirtle. So, so cool. Thank you. I appreciate that. That is really, really wonderful. Yeah, one for each type. There you go. Okay, well, let's crack into the good stuff. As we have Blastoise VMAX, so let's make it a quick one. Should really learn some magic and stab my fingers and make it all happen way faster than, than usual. Let me see if I can work on my editing skills for future videos. But here we go. Look at the sleeves. Blastoise. I mean, the Venusaur one's really cool too, but seeing the Blastoise one it makes me quite jolly. And then there's this absolutely brilliant promo, which I know for sure someday these boxes are going to be extremely valuable 
So, four packs, Battle Styles, Darkness Ablaze, Sun and Moon. Don't know why they keep pushing Sun and Moon, but let it be. Let's go with the Battle Styles. Let's see. This set has been a, a very average set, and you know why? Because there's no secrets hiding in the Reverse Hollow Rares. I realized that um, because Vivid Voltage has amazing rares, uh, Shining Fates is crazy, crazy things everywhere, uh, not seeing... Something in that reverse hollow spot, aside from a rare, uh, it makes it feel a little flat and you're not pulling as many good things. So that's why the pull rates probably feel a little bit subpar. So Galarian Mr. Mime and the rare. Oh, it's a Tyranitar V. What's up, oh, Tyranitar V? I saw some people pulling the... Well, I haven't seen anyone pull it, but Zapper's Corner posted a picture on Instagram today of her absolutely uh, majestic... Uh, her majestic Tyranitar alternate art, which I thought was so cool. So cool. I would shed a wee tear if I actually got to experience pulling that. Zubat, Cubone, Frillish, Metal Energy, Auto, what's up, man? We got the Psychedelic Grumpig, Luxio, Reverse Hall, Urn of Vitality, and a Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Darkness Ablaze over here. I'm actually in the midst of sorting out a trade because i would really like uh to get the shiny charizard v from champion's path because i'm actually trying to pursue a master set and um so i'm looking to trade so much there's a store cardboard classics which uh we're currently in talks so wish me luck if i can actually trade that for some of my old ultra rares i think that'll be really cool really cool so one ultra rare in this opening so far so let's see if this highly maligned Sun and Moon set. I thought like early Sun and Moon was just kind of whatever. Oh wow, brutal pack. What is going on here? I've never actually done anything like that before. Uh, but uh, I, I don't want to. Oh, I just ruined the code card trick because it's different. But look out! Look at that condition of that. Look at the condition of that on the back. Like it's just not good enough. Not good enough, guys. So, yeah, I, I, it was just this era that was kind of boring. But I think it's really cool that they ended up... They, they changed the style of the Rainbow Rares uh, in the latter sets, which are, or the newer sets. I think it's really cool. They're not the same in Battle Styles as they are in... Um, a vivid voltage right so i think it's really cool so the main uh, the main cool pulls from here are these two cards but the mail was what made this so awesome so uh, once again thank you all for watching please follow shiny girl hobbies she is the best and uh, stay tuned for more coming at you soon please leave a like subscribe comment i'm always here for you all so until the next time bye for now